Good afternoon. My name is Alphaeus Marcus. I'm a community advocate here in New York City. And I'd like to welcome you to Truth to Power for an Urban Agenda. Today's topic, voters registrations, where you have politicians that's actually running these voters registrations for the people to come register to vote when the politician did absolutely nothing for his community. You'll love this one. So, over the weekend, you had a lot of people going around registering people to vote. And what I found kind of like funny was that one of the politicians in Harlem, local politician, city councilman, Bill Perkins, once was a senator. He has a table for people to come register to vote and the people are looking at him like, who are you and what have you done for our community? I can tell you this, he's done absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. We've had failing schools underneath Bill Perkins. We've had schools that were cited for closing for truncation that he knew about and he said absolutely nothing. He's never came back to the community when he was in Albany to let the community know what's taking place that benefits them. So if he wasn't willing to do that then, and the people seen as a result of him being in office, nothing. You can imagine how many other politicians we have that's getting away with the same rhetoric. So, again, we got registered tables. He's out there and he's you know, welcoming people and people are looking and they're saying, why should I register when he doesn't do anything for me? And you can imagine a response. Oh, well you should register because we're trying to get Trump out of office. Can you get that? We have a politician sitting right here at a voter's registration table that does nothing for the community, but their objective is to get Trump out of office. How does that work? We're willing to get a president out of office who does absolutely nothing for us, for a city councilman, or assemblyman, or senator to sit up there and have done nothing. Who should we really be voting for? Now, you heard me speak about this thousands of times. Our votes do not count for presidency. We should be focusing on all the lawmakers. It just will happen on a county level. See how I'm breaking this down for you? Your city councilman on a county level qualifies as a lawmaker because they make rules and regulations that affect the county, right? County laws, that's what they make up. They haven't done anything. If you look at your communities, especially within urban communities, there's no programs for the kids. There's no services for the kids. Everything is designed for incarceration, right? And the future of incarceration of our children within the urban communities. When you look at NYCHA, our city councilmen are responsible because that's a city agency. And the mismanagement of NYCHA and the funding and the people that vote. Within the city of New York, you have only nearly 600,000 residents living in NYCHA who live in horrendous conditions, but yet the city councilmen want you to come, want to come around only for election for you to come vote for them. And then you wonder why voter turnout is so low. Who do they trust? You have some programs or some, how can I say, issues within city agencies that affect the communities that no one is really willing to talk about. I'll give a classic example, Corey Johnson. Within his district, some of his constituents have come to his office for help and he's been essentially a uh, non-factor, but he wants you to vote for him for mayor. See, we have to be conscious of what's going on here. We have to know these people in their positions, in their capacities, and what it is that they do that benefits you. City council members, they, they direct the funds for the, you know, schools, school districts, communities within the districts. They have that say because it's a city agency and they're part of what? The city rulemaking which is equivalent to the law. 
So if they're not willing to make sure that your schools and your children's schools are up to state standards, there's a problem. If your assemblymen and your senators are not willing to say, hey, listen, in my district, this is what's going on with the schools. This is what's going on with my community. We got to make sure we put the foot in the law down. This way it doesn't happen. Because these disparities in treatments, these disparities in the way that we deal with things and the way things are dealt to us is disproportionate. They have everybody under this assumption that the education system is based off the area where you pay taxes. And that's not true. They get their funding based on people that pay taxes, yes, but it's not based on property taxes. So back to this guy, Bill Perkins. Back to the voters registration table. You have a guy that does absolutely nothing. But he wants you to register to vote so you can change the outcome of what? Vote for him because he helped you register. He banks on the fact that there's a sense of loyalty for you hoping, hoping that you, you, know, you vote. You have to vote them out. Guys are like that, and there's a lot. We can run down a list of, of how can I say it, unqualified lawmakers. That should be added in. We can go from the Bronx. We can go from Karina Reyes. We can go from, I hate doing this because I like this individual, but then again, it's like, ugh. No, I'm not going to say his name. I'm going to give him a break this time, just this time. But when we look at the state centers here in Harlem, we have Brian Benjamin, who does absolutely nothing. I liked him when he was on the community board. Um, you have Inez Dickinson. What has she done? She's done absolutely nothing for the communities. You have Eastside. Robert Rodriguez is okay so far from what I've seen. Um, Who's another person? I want to blast, but then again, it's like, we go on the federal level. Let's take it on the federal level. You have a guy like, uh, what's his name? SBI. SBI went from assembly to Congress. When has he ever shown his face within the black communities? When has he ever showed his face in the Latin communities where they're affected by immigration laws? What laws has he proposed on a federal level that would help the same people that vote for him or those that's afraid to vote for him because of immigration issues? I remember having the same conversation with AOC and a lot of people love AOC, but don't even know why they like AOC. They feel that she can, they can relate to her. She's the perfect person because she did the bartending and she was a regular Joe that just happened to make it. Regular Jane, excuse me and happen to make it. But what has she done when she's made it? She's done absolutely nothing. She hasn't proposed any bills. And if you, if you like, you can look these things up. Look them up. Look at what bills affect your community, how and who it was that proposed them. Look at the issues that take place within your communities, right? And see if they have actually proposed any legislation that would help enhance the quality of living within your community from schools to social economics. See what's going on, because if you're not doing that, then you're voting because somebody else has a controlled agenda and it's through controlled conditioning. Similar to the marketing skills that Coca-Cola once used, where you went to the movie theater and you're watching the screen and a Coca-Cola flies right past without your eyes seeing it, but your subconscious catches. The same thing that we go through even to today. It's evolved, but it's just gotten better because it's the name that you see all the time that you're affiliated with. I see this name. I don't know what they do, but I see the name all the time. So they must be doing something right. You got to start questioning that. You got to start doing your research. Because if not, you'll go for the politician sitting by the table trying to get you to register who've done absolutely nothing. How does that work? Schools are closing. Kids are uneducated. Kids are headed to the prison system because they don't have education. Kids, when you ask the average kid in the street, what type of work do you want to do? The first thing they say is construction or maintenance. There's no vocational trade schools within the public school systems anymore. So what is it that our state elected officials are doing 
that will benefit our communities? What is it that our city council members are doing that will benefit our communities? Hell, what's de Blasio doing that will benefit our community? This is last year. He's done absolutely nothing. But he has the people brainwashed, and some even love him, because believe me, I see it all the time. They'll talk bad about him, but as soon as he comes around, they want to shake hands, they want to take pictures with him. You know, no, we're not taking pictures with you. Start doing. But you see how this here goes. So with that being said, I hope that this inspires you, empower you to want to do your own research and your due diligence on some of these political candidates. Understand their positions, understand their job titles, understand their roles, and within their roles, how does that translate to your community? And when I say your community, your children, your quality of living, your quality of life, enhancing or benefiting from. With that, I thank you and be prepared because we're going to start having guests and you're going to love the guests that we bring up here because they're about the community. Take care and enjoy. Enjoy.